Good morning everyone. It's Sunday, August the 7th, and I'm posting a new video. And this one's going to be a little bit different because up until now, I've only posted about the disappearances or the murders of Abigail Williams and Liberty German in Delphi, Indiana on February 13th, 2017. And that's kind of been the sole focus of my page up until now. And I try not to go down too many rabbit holes, but I think you're going to find today's rabbit hole a little bit interesting. Some of you have already heard this theory. Some of you have already read about this before. But for those of you who haven't, um, this is probably going to catch you off guard. Now, I took my math SAT tests. I was kind of a math prodigy when I was younger. I'm in my 40s now. But when I was a kid, I took my math SATs in sixth grade. I was extremely, extremely knowledgeable about mathematics, odds, probabilities. And one of the things that's really driven me nuts since the beginning of this case, um, for those of you who don't know, there's also another double homicide of two wonderful young girls way back on July 13th, 2012 in Evansdale, Iowa, known as eight-year-old Elizabeth Collins and 10-year-old Lyric R. Cook Morrissey at the time. Uh, their bodies were found at the Seven Bridges Wildlife Park in Bremer County. Eventually, uh, approximately uh, like five months later. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up and talking about the Liberty German and Abigail Williams case uh, there's Abigail Williams, and here is Liberty German from the Delphi Homicides. But the reason I'm bringing that up and, forgive me, comparing it to these two cases here is simple. You obviously don't want to get too deep into everything, like numerology, you know, believe things that you see in the movies, and, you know, serial killers trying to leave notes and clues. But the odds of this, from what I've researched and studied, are in the hundreds, if not thousands to one, of this, these two dates coming up coincidental. Now, I, I wanna show you. You look right here, and you see the date that Elizabeth Collins and Lyric Cook want missing in Evansdale, Iowa, was July 13th, 2012, or 7-13-12. Abigail Williams and Liberty German, they were murdered tragically on February 13th, 2017. So that's 2 13 17. So you take 2 13 17, as you can see up here, 2 13 17, okay? The dates of the Indiana homicides, if you Take that backwards, you have 7, 13, 12, which is the date that Lyric and Elizabeth were at bare minimum abducted. Is that a coincidence? Again, the odds of those two numbers in reverse being exact dates, again, there's certain things you can't completely quantify but every mathematician I've talked to tells me the odds of this are in the hundreds or thousands of one, that those two dates forward and backwards would just come up randomly. Maybe there's something to it, maybe there's not. We know that in the Elizabeth Collins and Lyric Cook case, uh, boy, there's just, they're, they're being real tight-lipped about that case too, just as they are in the Delphi case. And again, I'm not saying that they're connected, but maybe they are. There's still a $100,000 reward for information leading to the arrest of the sick individual or individuals that uh, murdered Lyric and Elizabeth. Uh, you can send tips to www.cbccrimestop.com or ourmissingiowagirls at dps.state.ia.us and of course we have the Libby and Abby tip line also I'm going to put up here. And that is Abby and Libby tip at C-A-C-O-S-H-R-F dot com. There's a reward of over $300,000.
for information leading to the arrest of these two girls. So, again, I'm not one to spout conspiracy theories, but I don't know. Maybe that's why they, they can't track this person down. Maybe the person isn't as local as they think, and we have some sort of a unicorn or an outlier here in this case who has been in multiple different states and uh, is just trying to toy with police. You never know. Uh, it's something that I know investigators have probably discussed, but, you know, we've had different suspects pop up, them going in different directions. We've had them talk about Ron Logan initially and the FBI affidavit, and then we've had them talk about uh, Keegan Klein and his father. So the fact that they've gone down so many different paths, which in a way is a good thing, it, but it, it also tells me maybe they're kind of, you know, shooting in the dark here a little bit, um, relying too much on profiling. It just, it seems a stunning coincidence to me that those dates forward and backwards, uh, given, especially given that less than one-tenth of one percent of all homicides in the United States, based on what I've studied and FBI statistics, less than one-tenth of one percent involve the double homicide of children. So when you have that and the fact that the dates are exact forward and backwards in both of these cases, again, who knows? Uh, maybe there's something to it and someday we'll find out there is. Uh, if this sick individual is out there, uh, turn yourself in. They have a lot of information on you already and they're going to catch you one of these days. Have a great day, everybody.